Hey Aries, it's your honest homegirl Keisha Anik, and this is your homegirl horoscope for today. Um, before I get into your reading, let's do some channeled messages. Many of you guys are wondering if you should leave, if you should move on, if you sh if it's time to go. Did did you do the right thing? Should I go back? And the answer is, it's time to move on. It's time for you to just say it is what it is you know you've put your best into a situation it's grown to its fullest potential it's not going to grow anymore 4 4 and eleven forty four on my time as i say that okay um there is another opportunity that you can have the potential to have just as much if not more but you would never know until you water the grass over there I don't want to say the grass is greener on the other side. It's just that a simple fact that, you know, um, it is what it is. You know, it. you did what you were supposed to do. That contract with that person, that place, that thing, it's done, you know. And now you have a new contract, but you're questioning that new contract because it's something that you have to start over with. And that's just life you know anything new you're going to have to start over you're going to have to start from scratch you're going to have to build it brick by brick okay um for some of you guys if you're wondering if a person is full of sugar honey iced tea 144 as i say that on the timer yes they are okay this person is full of sugar honey iced tea and your intuition has told you this time and time again many of you guys it's time for you to move on from a certain career okay it's time for you to be an entrepreneur now it's time for you to really use your god-given talents whether that's you being a leader you speaking out on a certain particular situation whether you being a mentor whether again like it's just a business that you have that is of service to others you guys are literally starting from square one, two, two, two on the time as I say that, okay? So it's time for you to get your big boy drawers on, your big girl panties on, and get to it. So with that said, let's see what spirit has for you, Aries. Aries, what do you have? Aries, you got a lot of ideas, okay? People love how your brain operates and how you think and they appreciate your perspective. Many of you guys really need to step up to the plate and not be afraid to be this spokesperson, this public speaker, this motivational speaker, this uh, influential, I don't want to say influential, inspiring advocate for just life in general i feel like you you know you grew up in the school of hard knocks so you know what it is like you have a phd in life in general okay and you have a lot of these things on your brain but you just refuse to you know not open up and speak on these things on these topics because you may be afraid three 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 of people and what they may say and them judging you but at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you like my father, who is an Aries, everybody has an opinion like an a-hole, okay? Everybody has opinion, okay? Everybody has an a-hole. Who cares? People want to agree, and then some people want to disagree. You have a female ancestor here who's like kind of upset with you at the fact that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I keep hearing like, I don't even want to say that Aries is afraid. I just feel like they don't want judgment. And this is what's blocking you. Like you have so many things, so many gifts, and you're not utilizing them in the right capacity. Like, and until you start using them, that's when you're going to continue to feel stuck and stagnant. Things are going to only grow to a certain level. And then it stops because it's like spirits like, when are you going to start using God's gift that was given to you? When are you going to really put in the discipline and articulate what it is that's been placed on your heart, on your soul, on your spirit, 444, and the time that I say that, and get the job done? Because there are people out there that need you. Many of you are musical geniuses. Some of you belong in the entertainment industry, whether that's acting, whether that's um, being an influencer, whether that's, you know, 
you writing music, whether that's you writing plays and, you know, it's your, it's your ideas. Like you have, it's, it's all in here. Like literally, it's all in this head of yours and Aries rules the head. You have so much going on in here that it needs to be put out into the world, literally. Okay? People need to hear you. And see, a lot of you guys don't even realize this. You've been avoiding healing from the past. Maybe you were scrutinized for the things that you said, the things that you um, did or how you maneuvered in life. And that judgment back then is what's causing stagnation and you moving forward and doing it now. You're an adult now is what I just heard. You're an adult now. What people did to you in the, in the past and what they said to you in the past, five, five, five on the time as I say that, th there's nobody stopping you now. You were born to talk. You were born to express whatever's going on in that brain of yours. Okay? And you, it's like, you know, if you heal from this, if you heal from this, some of you may have Chiron and like Gemini, Chiron and like Virgo, like in Mercury placements. Okay? But you speaking up and speaking out is what's going to heal you. And you're avoiding that. You know that. It's like you know you putting yourself out there on the front line and saying what you need to say. And I keep getting, uh, Char what's his name? Charleston White. Because um, I just watched his interview. And people, he was always talking about what people say, you know. And it's like, who cares what people say? Stop playing on words. Think about my actions. What about my actions? I could say F this and F that and this, that, and the third, but what am I doing is the question, you know? And it's like, who cares, you know, uh, what, what what people say about you? What did, uh, what are they going to do? Can they beat your ASS? No. Do they pay your bills? No. What can they do to you? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So do you. You know, I feel like once you figure this out and you move forward, you're going to have an aha moment of realizing that you kept yourself from getting the things that you truly wanted out of life. You were the one that are, you're the showstopper. You are who people have been waiting for, literally. And once you complete this cycle, you will be emotionally fulfilled. You will have love of self love of others love of what you do in this world because some of you may have had jobs where you just was not appreciated you didn't feel fulfilled but when you step out into this world and you speak on what you need to speak on 757 as i say that you're going to be so happy because so many opportunities all the things that you've ever wanted will come to you do you hear me 808 on the time as i say that but aries i need you to step up to the plate because we need you and I salute you.